I wanted to do a quick uh, video that just talks about doing a quick start to using IPA. Uh, I couldn't find any information about this in a really accessible way uh, on, on YouTube or elsewhere uh, in IPA's materials, so I just wanted to make a very short introductory uh, video that uh, tries to explain how to quickly get started with it. Now, I've got some data here in this Excel sheet, and uh, this is RNA-seq data. It uh, is coming out of RStudio and is differential expression uh, calculation. So you can see we've got an Excel sheet with some columns that uh, have data in them. We have uh, the ensemble gene IDs in column A, uh, the base mean values, log two fold changes. Um, over here we have an adjusted p-value, uh, which is a uh, false discovery rate. So uh, these are the kinds of things that we need to get into IPA in order to do a pathway analysis. So how do you do that? Well, I've got uh, IPA here installed. I'm, I'm logged in, um, so I'm assuming that you've done that already. And the first thing to do is to start a new uh, core analysis. And you want to say upload a new data set. Now the important thing to note here is that IPA can handle uh, Excel format data sets natively, but for whatever reason it cannot handle CSV files. So if you have CSV files coming out of your R analysis, for example, uh, just open them in Excel, save them as, as an Excel file, and then you can open them right into IPA. Now we get this uh, dialog screen here, and the first thing to do is to look up here where we have a choice between the ingenuity file formats or a flexible format. So you want to select flexible format. In this case the data does have a column header so we'll say yes. Um, it tries to guess the type of uh, ID for you I think. So uh, it got this correct. These are ensemble IDs so we'll leave that uh, as it is and we'll leave this as not specified. This is the array platform but this is RNA-seq data so we'll say not, but not, not applicable. Now we will put this column to ID, so telling it that these are the gene IDs. Uh, and now we care about the log two fold change, so we'll call this observation one. And uh, expression log ratio, or log fold change, so that's correct. And then we want to also give it the adjusted p value, so we'll put this also to observation one and uh, expression false discovery rate. It's important to understand that these different, when you have a choice between observation one, observation two, what that means is that is a comparison between, uh, let's say, a wild type and experimental condition, for example. So if you have a full change and a p-value coming out of one wild type versus experimental comparison, you'd use observation one for both of these. Um, if this was a data set where, you had, where you're doing several comparisons, you, you could use observation one and have a log ratio and a, and a false discovery rate or q-value for that observation and then have observation two, two columns for that, observation three, etc. Here in these data, I just have one uh, observation, wild type versus a mutant, and so that's what I've uh, put in here. Now, it, uh, it tries to summarize the data, it shows you what it can map and what it is not able to map based on its database. So we'll end up with 23,400 genes in this analysis, basically. And so now you say save and create analysis. You give it a name. You can put some notes in here. And now it will upload it and take you to the next screen. Okay, now we're just at the last screen before running a core analysis. So now our data is into IPA, and it's uh, it's letting you set some cutoffs. So if you want to uh, set cutoffs for fold change or um, uh, Q value here, you can you can do that. So if you want to use uh, 0.01 or 0.05 or something, you'd put that in here, and uh, you can set a cutoff here, like if you want it up or down more than uh, 1.5 uh, 
log two full change, you can put that in there as well, and then ask it to recalculate, and it'll show you how many molecules, see that cut it down to 164 in this case, so we can back this off maybe even more. 427 now would be going into the analysis. Uh, and then there's some other uh, setup options here that I'm not going to get into now, but uh, that's basically it. I just wanted to show you briefly how to get quickly started with IPA, get data in, in there and ready to analyze. So now you just say run analysis and uh, say OK, and it'll submit it to the server and start it running. That's it.